What would you like Donald Trump to do if he's reelected? Get all this swamp out. How's he going to do that? Drain them. I want him to clean house. Get rid of the FBI, for one thing. They're a bunch of, they're a bunch of crooks. <laughs> the news isn't going to tell us the truth. They're just not going to. But it'll come out. I'm hoping for John Durham and some other... John Durham, though, didn't come up with anything in his prosecution. Well, that's what the news tells you. So you think that John Durham secretly has indictments and charges that he's bringing? So why would he come now up with a report? On. Now you catch So on. when John Durham says that there's no indictments other than that one guy who lied to the FBI, but there's nothing else, that's just a ruse? That's just... It's just a deflection. What's the worst thing that Joe Biden's doing? <laughs> Being in the White House. Being awake. Uh, the cogs in the wheel are running the show. I don't. Who think are those really cogs? Is. Who's telling them what to do? Kamala's one of them. Yeah, would have Nancy. to be. Nancy. Yeah, and Nancy. The kid goes to Kings Mountain High School, and they've got what they call furries, where they got girls that dress up like cats. There are t-shirts over there that actually spell out f Biden. <laughs> Does that go too far? No. No, it's called freedom of speech. Say what you want. If you don't like it, just turn away. Walk away. That's all you got to do. What about the sanctity of the flag? There's a flag over there that's got a bunch of, that looks like AR-15s, where the stars and stripes normally are. I mean, some people would say, look, that's not very you know, patriotic to decorate a flag that way. Uh, I think, like I say, it's actually freedom of speech, and it just, and, and uh, I guess in a way, because the AR-15, we could go on about what's dangerous and what's not, but the, just the attack on the Second Amendment, the reason why we we're here today, as far as like the freedoms that we have, was because we had people that were able to protect their freedoms with that Second Amendment. And right now, that's keeping a lot of China and a lot of Russia from coming in here. That's helping China, by the way, coming in here and taking over because they know that we're all armed. And uh, so I think that the flag being decorated that way is just trying to show people that, hey, this is where it's at. If it wasn't for 1776, which was not a violent movement, it was just us reclaiming our freedom because that evil queen that just died <laughs> was a big part of, well, not at that time, but, you know, a big part of that organization who was hell-bent on trying to maintain a global control through their own colonialism. Joe Biden's not really a good president. What's he doing that's so bad? I mean, look at our gas prices, look at our stores, everything in the prices. Inflation's up. pretty high. Yeah. Uh, he killed some al-Qaeda leader the other week. I mean, he's doing a pretty good job with the military and uh -huh. unemployment's down to record lows. Yeah. Because you got all 50 states in blue. Then you have all the stripes and they all unite as one. Is it united when Donald Trump's head is put on a flag? I think Well, I'll tell you here's another one. There's a, you know, there's a one the, go ahead. It brings a different message. You know what I mean? I think with him on the flag to a lot of Americans, it brings them hope. What has the FBI done that's crooked? Well, they raided his house and uh, a bunch of searching for classified nuclear yeah. documents. They took uh, Mike Lindell's phone away from him, and they, you know, they've raided people's houses and arrested people. And the Democrats right now fear Donald Trump that he's going to run again, which I believe he will, and that Donald Trump will win the election as long as the election is not rigged again. If Donald Trump does not run, then what? DeSantis? I'm going to go to Florida and whoop his ass. I will go all the way to Florida and preserve. To get him to run. He's you would, run. Okay. But if he doesn't, would DeSantis, is DeSantis a good guy? Would you support Ron DeSantis? What do you think of him? Here's that. And when they say, well, this is fact checked, it's wrong because it's taken out of context. Like when Joe Biden fell asleep during a live interview on television. <laughs> he claimed that he fell asleep. I think that was an edited one, right? That was. I. I didn't think it was, it looked pretty live to me with no cuts in it. Joining us live this morning from New York. Hey, good morning. Wake up. Yes. Wake up, up, wake up. I hear anything. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is your wake up call. <laughs> is this the video that you're talking about? Could be, yeah. Biden falling. Should I watch it really quick? Sure. So this is Washington Post. Uh, <laughs> So an article there is saying that that it that it was faked, but it looked real, right? I mean, it looked real. Well, I mean, 
I definitely wouldn't doubt that it would happen. We need to be really careful uh, about this stuff and you know, it, this is this is way more unfortunately widespread than I wanted to believe. Uh, you know, people who are on Facebook all day get sucked into this culture and they they become victims of disinformation campaigns. And I I don't know what the answer is because obviously Mark Zuckerberg has no interest in doing the right thing, none, zero percent. There have been stories, multiple stories of people within Facebook trying to stand up to him to do the right thing. He's refused to do it. There have been studies proving that you know Facebook and the way engagement works on it is not only incredibly addictive, but it always points people in the direction of the most toxic, hateful, awful content. And Zuckerberg was unwilling to do anything about it. This is this is the situation we're dealing with. And we don't I we don't have any real way of fighting back against it.